and uh, then you uh, were. <laughs> do that, people in the viewers. I'll try. To dry I captain, you... Steve. We're trying to get lo loaded in, and it keeps crashing. Oh, I'm in the group. I'm in the group. Oh. Yay! Oh, I'm in the group as well. Okay. We had we had to load in in space rather than in the Nexus. Oh my God! This is a weird area of space. This nebula is pretty creepy, to be honest. I'm above a freighter right now. <laughs> And the rings of a planet. This looks cool. Mm. Very awesome. All right, shall I call in the Nexus? Shall I go in the Nexus? Yeah. 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 I guess we'll all be in the same instance once we go in the Nexus. But yeah, yeah, basically we had terrible issues. If you're inside the Nexus and you just keep getting game crashes, inviting people in, try outside of the Nexus. That's how we got connected this week. Every workaround procedural. I guess. Send on in. Got a repertoire of people here to Oh, yep, we haven't got to mash smash with us today. He's inside of the live chat. However, we've got a replacement. We've got Miyogi in the house, the man, the myth, the legend, the pet hunter. Oh, thank you very much. Got oh, no worries. Cool. Right. So, hopefully, we're going to be able to see each other inside the Nexus. Um, I'm in there now, and everybody just freaking vanished. Yeah. Uh, oh, here you go. Yogi. Ah, they must have. They must have all vanished to make way for you guys. Excellent, eh? All right, cool. The load uh, balancing seems guess. to be working. I don't even know what I look like in this playthrough. Sweet. Okay. Oh, you're on your PlayStation 4 save, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm playing the PlayStation 4 version on the PlayStation 5 because it's it worked for a second. But you're still you're still all red and you got your white pants. Uh, oh, and your, good, and your good. cape is there. Uh, no, it's not. It's not, no. No, no I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Uh, fool me once, you know, don't fool me uh, five times. Gal, <laughs> uh, what do you think it's going to be this week, mate? Um, apart from Blue Screen of Death, I think it would be... <laughs> Stranded Idiot. Stranded Idiot. <laughs> Righto. Uh, Miyogi. Hello, Miyogi. Uh, hello. I think it will be um, Hazardous Flora. Hazardous floor. Oh, good shout. Okay, and Warpy Fakwa. What do you think it's going to be, mate? Well, I was going to say Hazardous Floor. Hacker Sentinel oh, Pillar. Sorry, if I... Hacker what Sentinel I Pillar. Oh, you're going for one of the newer ones. I'm going to go for one of the newer ones as well. I'm going to go for Worm Burrow Nest, the infested. Mm. Okay. I, I'm kind of hoping it might be um, Dig Up Ancient Bones, though, because, you know, the old oh. catalogue that I'm trying to work towards at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, that'd go quite nicely. Because yeah, I, I hope think there's not. <laughs> one more bone thing there to be had, which I haven't got. So. Is that updating now properly for you? Because you had three items, didn't you, in your treasures, and they never seem to change. Well, the people have been sending me screenshots, and also I've been doing some research on Reddit, and I've seen that people have managed to complete the whole of the treasures page, bar one. The only one that they're not able to do is on the middle row, second one in. It looks like a little canister of like plants and stuff or something, like in the top right-hand corner. But that silhouette, no one's managed to get that one yet, so I want to try and get that one. It'll probably be that one we had to do with the expedition, wouldn't it? Uh, Ooh. One of the, remember that one? We had to go through all the different underground ruins and we finally got the damn thing. Oh, the curse or sometimes, thing. Yeah, or sometimes you got it in a freighter, didn't you, without looking. On the completed screenshots that have been sent to me, bar that one, um, mm. they've got terrifying samples and stuff in there from those underwater yeah. relics. I still need to do that. I'm doing a couple of tea episodes with Captain Steve where I'm going through all the different routes of getting treasures in the game and doing like a little mini guide. I might compile hmm. them into a singular playlist at some point yeah. because I'm fairly sure other treasure hunters and completionists would probably want to do it. It's like being Lara Croft but shitter. It's awesome. <laughs> well, it's like the glitches, isn't it? You, you know you've seen all the glitches, but yeah. you've got to do them all again now, haven't you? you yeah, can't... I've got them all. Hold on, it's three minutes past the hour. My discovery server is still active. How about you? You all green? Uh, uh, there, there has been a time zone change in the green US of A. I'm worried green. that it's not going to pop up till 7 p.m. We could be standing here yeah. for a good hour, but we'll see. Now, usually Next it's week. about four minutes past the hour, isn't it? Yeah, four or five minutes past the hour. It's coming to land, isn't it? Come on. You know you want yeah. to. Of course. of course, next week it'll be 7 o'clock for us, won't it? Yeah. Of course, it. yes, it will. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it's not long now until I oh, go to... Oh, it's popped up. Fifth it's hits. just popped up. Yay! Cool. It's just popped up. There we go, then. Let's, uh, let's... It's tame wild creatures. None of us were right. Oh, right. <laughs> we're going to be awarded a defence chit. Go on. Um, defence chit. I got asked the other day whether defence chits still work, which 
It took me by surprise because I, I didn't even think they were in the game anymore. But <laughs> I mean, since we've got wingmen, they're kind of a bit redundant, aren't they? Mm. Anything else? Let's so head on out. Um, what does my ship look like? Uh, I'm, sport I'm sporting uh, my new white number. <laughs> cool, yeah. It looks like, it looks like a cockpit. <laughs> With engines. We've got Henry Rice <laughs> here, so I need to give out those coordinates. I would anyway. We've got Smoked Salmon Man. Captain Steve has just liked your stream, man. friend. Nice one, thank you, there. Smoked Salmon Man. Is that Big Ben it's... Furban? Yes, it chance? is. Okay, he's changed his name again. So he's no longer yeah. Green Dragon Skull. He's no longer the Expendables. <laughs> this week, he is Smoked Salmon Man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've got some sort of superhero costume that goes with that name. I've got all sorts of images being conjured up into my head right now. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's brought us by an, at an Atlas interface. Atlas interface, yes. Interesting. Yeah, let's head towards the plan. Oh, no, I need to give those oh, coordinates. Oh, yeah. The important coordinates. Here we go. Important coordinates in the bottom left-hand corner there, which is a bird, a sunset, a beetle, a voxel, a waypoint, a triforce, a Bellyman bird bird, a sunset, last four, Wellyman 20 black hole, reflection, Voxel Sunset. There you go, Henry of the Rises, for your wiki page entry. Okay, let's go. <sighs> yeah, are you still doing your giveaway during April? I am, yes, Captain. I will be doing it on the PC, though. Cool, yeah. So get your, get your eggies, eggy orders in. <laughs> On PC, you can get the Sentinel in an egg, can't you? The Sentinel Walker. That's correct, in, yes. You? You that's, awesome. it, that, yeah. uh, that's what people want. Uh, they want these unusual ones, so. Yeah. I know a lot of people lost all their um, expedition pets. I know people want those mm. as well. Right, okay. I will bring over multiple characters. Right. Oh, cool. Damn. Uh, well, I might be in the Philippines when you start doing that, so I might not be able uh, to chime in. I'll try and get in the live chat and say hello. Yeah, um, good, as long as we have the spirits. Uh, if I can get an internet connection out there. I've mean, got to rub some yogurt pots together in a very strange way to get internet connection. <laughs> 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 pots together. <laughs> oh, well, isn't this yeah. a nice planet? Extreme storms. <laughs> well, the grass is long here and pretty much oh, lost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is big grass. Heck yes, it is. I even forgot what the bloody mission is. What is this mission again? It's tame wild creatures. Oh, so. of course. Yeah, thank you. And I found one. I just fed him, little, little bugger. No, nice. thingy. Dilly, dilly, dilly. Boom. Go on. Yay. Twenty more. I thought I saw a creature over here. Obviously, I didn't. He's miles away. There he is. There's one. Okay. I can't see very far. No, it's freaking dodgy, isn't it? Maybe land on the day side of him better. Mm -hmm. Note for next time. Land on the day. Oh, I'm getting. I mean, you, you oh, can gosh. put down a base and then put down auto feeders and then just you know. Oh God, I got no hazard protection. Let the game do it for oh, you. Oh no. This is quite easy. I'm going up in number rather quickly right now, people. I found two. You're welcome. Oh no, it's me as well. I've, I've just fed loads. Freaking, I got, I've got a little herd here. I'm just refeeding them. We're up to 31 already. Yeah. Oh. Doing pretty good. It's an extreme storm now, though. I've learned the Atlas word for cannot. And I will learn an Atlas word. You do realise this is not the I'm mission. Learning... <laughs> no, it's just telling me I'm learning at loads of Atlas words, apparently. Why? I don't know, just come on screen saying I'm learning at Atlas words. I'm just wondering... That's, I've that's... just learned the Atlas word for do. Well, that's pretty interesting. Oh, and it. I wonder if that's because there's an ambient player inside of that Atlas station running around right now, and for whatever reason it's registered on your account. Weird. Yeah, because there's, there's the little bubbles in there, isn't there, that you tread on? Anyway, yeah. we've done the mission, I think. Do we um, have to go yes, and... Yeah. I'm burning to death. Do we go back to the Nexus, or do we have to go somewhere else and turn this information in? Return to the Nexus. Okay, brilliant. That's, that's that done, isn't it? Okay. Cool, yeah. Let's go do this. Cool. I've got Budget Reno in the house. Another awesome content creator there, people. Be sure to check out Budget Reno. Yeah, Smoked Salmon Man, he also has a YouTube channel. He does like little vlogs, stuff like that. He's quite a lovely guy. Um, 
can check him out. He's got a nice way about him. You got Assistant No Man's Sky in the house, maker of the No Man's Sky Assistant app. If you haven't got that app installed on your phone, freaking awesome. It'll it notify me that we're finished doing the posters today, and Warpy just mentioned about it as well. And there's some lovely stuff in there, so I'm going to go and have a look at what the Quicksilver Merchant has got for us. And then, guys, do you fancy just sitting on the sofa and having a little chat by Hesperus and Gemini about what we think's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm going to turn in the mission, go talk to Johnny Five, jump in my ship, out of my ship, make sure I've bagged my freaking Quicksilver, and then we'll go do that. Ooh, a defense chip. Mm. Is it me sure? Yes, defense chits are ours. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, Johnny Five. Let's see what he's got then. So yeah, next is Euclid Moonrise sign, which is pretty darn cool. We've got Ship and Pilot sign. I like that one. And then we've got the Black Hole in the Wall sign. That's pretty cool too. That'd be nice to try and get that to sit in front of your little teleporter, wouldn't it? Uh, they're interesting these it's almost like hmm I don't if I was to speculate it'd be, it'd be nice if um if we do get station ownership if we can use those signs on the kiosks inside of our own space mm. stations maybe <laughs> forget I said that <laughs> <laughs> but then again we're going to go off on the sofas in a minute and um I think anything should be you know free to be talked about up here to be honest with the old speculation stuff I mean <sighs> I didn't worry about speculation when Hello Games were knocking it out the ballpark in the early days of all their updates, but the last two updates have made me slightly hesitant. Just because I've been, you know, lacking in content. Nice! So we've got two in Gek helmets and two in these sort of like uh, little fireman's helmets. We're like a right crew of crazies, don't we? It's nice. Are you, are you trying to sit on him? Yeah, it does, it does not work in today. Is it not? No. Oh, well, hang on. If I've got to get the right place. Yeah. No. Go on, you can do it. Oh. There we go. He's on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. He's merged. You... He's merged. He's freaking. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, take me off. <laughs> did, uh, did you have to look down at your feet? Or going yeah, to and slightly to the mode. side as well. Okay. Move and wait and see if the sit appears. Mm, okay. Yeah, tricky. Aha, uh -huh, there's yeah, it's... Got the sit sign then. Yeah. Well, I think that was on the sofa next to him, but I'm not sure. It was a bit more awkward this week. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I saw it for a second. For a, a s yeah. Oh, no, it was kettle. Changed to kettle. Yeah, it is harder this week. Oh. But there's not been an update, so how the fudge did they manage to pull that one off? There we go. Got him. No, nope, yep. I'm next oh, hey. to you. Dang it, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks quite cool, though. Yeah, that, the samurai mode right there. That's pretty cool. Hey, I think that's all right. I'll just sit next to you. That's cool. Oh, no. I've turned into a fish. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. We'll, we'll stay like that, then. Okay, Copy cool. mode. Yeah. <laughs> Every bug procedural. <laughs> We're breaking the game just by sitting on sofas. <laughs> oh, cool. Nice. Anyway, I was talking about. Um, where's my mobile phone? Oh, yeah. I'll show you what's next. After these free signs, I'm going to see what's next by using the No Man's Sky System app. A minute. So there's No Man's Sky System app. I'll just make myself a little bit larger on screen for a second while I show you where you find this. So if you click on this icon down here that says Community Missions, boom. You can just hit next community mission. So next rewards. That's the signs there that we can see now. Hit next again. And we've got all these. We're going to get a load of emotes like holographic blob and holographic frigates and starship and all sorts of other stuff. And then that's it for Quicksilver items. Now, if I did have to speculate when we might see the update arrive, I'd say it'd probably be after we've cleared these three items that we've got now, these signs, and maybe halfway into perhaps the next load of items. I'm thinking after this expedition ends, and then maybe give it a week or so, and then you might see something pop in, maybe another expedition. So I'm thinking, if my speculation's right, while I'm in the Philippines. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. No, oh well, it has to be the way, doesn't it? Cool. 10th of April to the 26th of April. Yeah, so a good two weeks, roughly. And then, um, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, come. 
No, it's the hottest point of the Philippines year. I'm going to freaking roast. Or dead. One or the other. Yeah. 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 Could be fun. Right, let's see if we can stand back up then. Let's see if we can just... I'll try just sitting on you from the front. Let's, uh, let's try that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. I did it from the front this week. <laughs> Boom. Ah, lovely jubbly. That's a free some, and we just got. Is that the kettle sitting there? Just spe no, that's Ke that's Miyogi just spectating, isn't it? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. Yeah, I did it from the front this this week. I did it from the front. Yeah. Fun times. Oh, I better go back into game. I better bring back up the game, don't I? There you go, people. There you go. <laughs> Pow. Lovely jubbly. Is it a dry heat out there this time, or is it a humid heat? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not 100% sure, mate. Um, that makes a hell of a difference, doesn't it, between the two? Yeah, uh, the previous years it has been quite humid, but apparently, oh. according to some of the vloggers out there at the moment, they're saying that it's quite a dry, sort of Tenerifean type heat. Oh, so, good. Yeah. Switch screens, laugh out loud. Oh, Ooh, there, we, there go. we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm there we go. There's a little bit of a delay. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, we're back in now. That's cool. Cool. Oh, that my days. Look at that. <laughs> There's all four of us in one seat. That is trippy as, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's like one of them holographic cards in it that you keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that jittery gek statue that we get. Yeah. You get that. What do you, uh, what do you guys uh, make of these um, new stations? The look and feel of them. Oh, they look brilliant. As long as the insides changed. Hmm. Do you think the insides yeah. will change? They've got to do. Stations I'd hate to think though areas. that they change them. They'd all still be the same. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see much more difference between every space station. Well. I was watching Professor Cynical um, the other day. Uh, well, he, he's done a speculation video where he was saying that he feels the interior is going to change because the exterior, once you're flying in, a bit like how I did yeah. in mine. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So he's kind of on the same page, but he also said about you know the station override and how long it's been left there and teased for. Maybe Hello Games done that deliberately because they were still working on all these cosmetic looks and feels and things like that. Mm. So yeah, it does make you wonder. It does make you wonder if there's going to be more. Whether. The, it makes you wonder whether we're going to get at least the station override activated at the same time as the external parts of the station. We've still got the problem with freighters. You get lots of different types of freighter, but the inside always looks the same. This is true. Yeah. Which is a bit annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ma Marva said, I wonder how many players you can stick on that seat. I don't know. But if you guys are out there ambiently, if you want to come up in the Nexus and come and try and sit on us, feel free. Come up. Sit in my lap, little that's, kitty. That's probably the weirdest wow. invite you're ever going to hear, yeah. ever. Yeah. There's somebody oh, over yeah. there behind us in the seat. Yeah. Wrong bench. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get the memo. Yeah. Uh, we've got the Scottish rod there. No one there. He's talking to the voice in his head. Oh, okay. You can't hear anybody at the moment. One second. Let me just see. Oh, when I was on my own one, they couldn't hear you, I don't think. I think they can hear you now. Just try talking. Someone say something. Me? Oh, Kettle, you banana, ruined banana, it. Banana, banana. Go for ages. <laughs> Hello, it's all wearing that. The human ish centipede. It does. It is very human centipede, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, is Petty not Petty Bish not very well? No, okay. no she isn't. Mm -hmm, yeah. oh, well, well wishes, Petty. I hope you get better soon. Yeah. She has an autoimmune problem. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so I do that. And she's got a cold. She's had a cold for two weeks. It's, it's really uh, starting to get her down. Mm. And cough. Mm. Cool. So I sent her some fifty friends to clear her. Oh, <laughs> she, nice. she took, she took one of. <laughs> she said, I can't cope with one. I had to put it in half. It's too strong. <laughs> Mom saying, "Your little socks off." Mom Have you ever tried the extra them. strong ones? That's what they were. The original extra strong ones. What the fish oh, was friend. Yeah. You get you yeah. get original and extra strong ones, can't you? Oh, they are, they are. Well, mm. it's like something you dig out of a tar pit, isn't it? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like prehistoric is what they look like. 
oh, let Jim, it congeal for 2,000 years. Jem Sarkis says they did this on Rice's stream last Friday and they managed to get 13 people in one seat. <laughs> uh, that's because we, we started doing this last Friday, didn't we? That's yeah. what it is, trend setting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Trailblazers, us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, so, C Captain, what do you think of Starborn? What's uh, or, 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 has anybody else seen the Starborn? No, I'm, I'm too. Well, I've done the first impressions video, and I've done episode mm. one. I'm uploading that as soon as I finished on here. I've got it already on my laptop to send up, and hopefully, I'll put it live over the weekend, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's I, I've I've liked doing freaking for the first mission. Mission one was. Freaking adrenaline pounding craziness! Have you have you done episode? Have you done mission one? On I've it? done mission one. I'm on the. I'm on, well, I've not. I've got hacked the door, and that's when I saved the game okay. to the platform of the, the Rex space station. So. Oh, okay. Well, I won't say anything, but you can always watch my mission yeah. one if you want to see what's going to happen. I watched mission next. one. So. Oh God, it's it's, it's mental. I, but I had, I had I had lots of fun doing it. It was really good fun. Yeah, all cool. But yeah, I think it's I think it's got potential. It's a little bit buggy. It needs a bit of polish. But it's just one man on his own that's done it. I really hope that a game studio says, you know what, we want to hire you and we want to buy your game idea and we want to add a shed load of polish and chuck a load of freaking devs at it because it needs that. I think. Um, but yeah, pretty darn yeah. cool. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's got a bit of Starfield, a bit of Elite Dangerous, a bit of No Man's Sky, and it's got a bit of everything in it. So yeah, definitely. What? It's got loads of bugs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Features. <laughs> so, so features. This going on on our screens right now. Yeah. 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 What can you expect for 17 quid? Because that's all it is. 17 quid. So. 17 Not quid. Bad, is it? The joypad cost me quid. another 15 quid. So yeah, yeah I spent 30 yeah. on it, and I, I still feel it was worth 30 quid. It's yeah. a, yeah. it's a good shout. It's a good little game. Um, yeah. It, it's it's not amazing but it's it's definitely well it's not a triple a it's not triple a game at all it's nowhere near yeah. a triple a standard but it's still bloody good well if starfield is half as good as uh as starborn then it should be pretty good to get you yeah so miyogi if you could have one thing in no man's sky in 2023 come into the game what would you like elevators elevators <laughs> yes I want to go up in the world. I want to go up in the world. Well, they've been in the game for ages. They're part of the freighters, or I suppose they're part of the freighters. I want uh, big space stations uh, with elevators in them where you can go up and down to mezzanine levels and huge marketplaces. Because there was a mod on the PC yeah. that allowed you to have huge marketplaces inside space stations. I don't wow. know whether the mod is still available. But there was a mod on it to have uh, huge, gigantic areas on uh, space stations with yeah. different characters walking around, and it was all flat, well, a bit like the Nexus. Well, I know I chuckled just then, but they have been in the game files for the freighters, for the Endurance. They were almost on the cards, yeah. weren't they? And then, for whatever reason, yeah. they didn't appear. So, it was something they were thinking about. So, it could be on the radar that you might get your wish, Miyogi. Mm, well, I hope so, Captain. Well, Mr. Kettle, I think I asked you this question the other week when you was on the sofa. <laughs> uh, yeah, but do you want to sound off? What would you like to see oh. come in 2023? Unicorns and rainbows. Unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> We've got yeah. the rainbow and ship so trails. Ships shaped and uh, modded to look like Thomas the Tank Engine. Right, yeah, I mean, we've, we've seen that happen too. I know Sky the Warrior has done that, hasn't he? One of his mods put... They are freaking creepy, to be honest, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, the ability to mod more, you know. Um, mod more. Of supporting mods like they do with you know other games like Skyrim or most of Bethesda stuff. Yeah, but, well, uh, since I've been using mods, I have been talking to mods a little bit more in the modding community, mm. and I know that on a lot of social media they've been saying whenever they put up like modded photos or things that have been in the mods, people are like, oh, ah, yeah, you shouldn't be posting that here if it's modded, <coughs> blah, blah, blah. and they kind of feel slightly pushed out of some of the social networking areas. But I kind of feel that in a roundabout way, I mean, I've only spoken to a few, but in a roundabout way, I, I kind of feel that we should be embracing mods a little bit more than what perhaps we are, because eventually, if Hello Games ever do move on to another game or another IP, it might be that they hand this over to modders, to, and you know, a bit like Bethesda did with Skyrim, and maybe add in 
mods that you can actually bring into game even on console perhaps through some sort of mod list like you can with Skyrim so maybe one day maybe one day mods might be the future of No Man's Sky so I think maybe if you've got the ability to look into mods yourself you're on PC I've had a little dabble and I'll tell you what I'm glad I did it, it's an eye opener to what this engine can do people have a little butchers have a little play have a look at some of this modded stuff because it is awesome most of the ship customization really you know being able to put different wings on different body things like that yeah. that would be good well some mods let you bring in star wars ships like have your own little tie fighter or even oh, that'd an be wing good. yeah so all sorts of mods that let you do that sort of shenanigans <laughs> yeah uh, how about you wolfie would you like to see come in mm. being able to apply decals on your ship mm. that's a nice simple one what, what decals would you like well, the ones in the nexus in the, oh, okay. in the, in the store all right. Okay. So anything that you can apply to your base, you can apply on your ship. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know so you, you can customize you, your ship. Yeah. Cause you you can, can do all sorts of patterns as well, can't you? Like um, GTA Apex made posters and stuff. Oh, that'd like be blending cool. the blend them all up. Yeah. Because I have seen Exocrafts, but they're very on Exocrafts. It's you can put this mod, you can put them in certain places. Yeah. But yeah, to have total freedom on where you can add the decals and then layer them, that that'd be quite cool. Uh, yeah. Alright, that's not a bad one, I suppose. It's not that quite. Would, that would give you ship customization and not destroy the for ship hunters. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of extra personality to them. I mean, at the moment, we yeah. can't even scan each other's ships, so I can't see what you've named your ship, so I don't bother naming my ships anymore. Mm. I'd, I'd like that, just to be able to see what people have named their ships. Yeah. Um, if I had to ask for something this year, I would like something that brings players back in. Whether that's a new loop mechanic, whether it's a new in-game loop. But I'm just thinking for the players that have been playing since day dot. And for new players coming in, I feel that they're, it's overwhelming for a new player coming in. There's so much to do, so much to see. It's almost like, well, what do I do first? But then for all the people that have been playing for ages, it's like, well, I've got nothing to do. And I think there needs to be a bit more of a balance. And we need something for the end game. The end game content needs to be upped. Um, yeah. How they do that, don't really mind. You know, it could be Realm of Glass, could be the Void. <laughs> yeah. James NC says, "What about a Bird of Prey?" Bird yep, of Prey. Like oh yeah. 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 Nick, Nick Var would be even better. Yeah. That'd be cool. The, or the Defiance. Oh, like you that. mean the ships? Nice. <laughs> I yeah. thought you meant like Fauna in the sky that's going to fly you mean down. A falcon and on your arm, yet. or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> like a Saudi prince riding along with your falcon, or something. No, no. I was, I was thinking, you know, like we've got predatory fauna on planet surface. Oh right, oh, yeah. We've got them in the ocean as well, but why not predatory fauna in the air? They swoop down oh, and yeah, attack. Oh yeah, true, it. actually. Yeah. Pterodactyls. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that sort of thing. That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Being killed by a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> Prehistoric planets, you know, T Rexes, you know, the full lot. Yeah. Not just Diplos, Velociraptors. Yeah. There's so much they could do with this game. It's got so oh, much yeah. potential. Yeah. But you can't rule anything out, really, can you? You know, it's uh, pretty darn cool. Yeah. They just brought out a few specimen worlds, you know, that showcase worlds. Not just bases, a showcase world. Yeah. That'd be quite nice. And a handcrafted one. Yeah, that, that could be quite cool, couldn't it? Yeah. Maybe craft your own planets then, you know. Oh, it's like it's been mentioned before, you know, you, you collect that that creature from one planet and then you see them on another planet, you know, and you make a nice, really uh, diverse biome there. Yeah. You're putting in trees and rocks and animals, you know. It was like terraforming almost. Yeah, why not? Yeah. That could be fun. Yeah, I want pterodactyls now I mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really, yeah, the more I think about it, the more I want pterodactyls. Death from above. Mm. <laughs> Flying down, spitting acid like the, you know, monstrosities and that. <laughs> yeah, we, don't, we don't ask for much, do we? Better multiplayer. Yeah. A multiplayer. Not better, just yeah. a multiplayer. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, multiplayer that works, <laughs> please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. At least we found a solution today to the the, the crashing out. Uh, that crashing out and blue screening, I, I I must have crashed out about three or four times. Yeah. And then I got that Captain Steve. You've joined Captain Steve, and you've also joined dot 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 dot. And yes. Then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had a, we had a lot of this last week, didn't we? We had a, a very similar to last week. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So what's everyone's impression of Picard at the moment? I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I've really liked it. Mm -hmm. I really liked it quite a lot. It's been really cool. Are we all up to date with Picard? I don't really want to say any partic in particular. Um, I have no, not watched it. Watch this week. Watch it. No. That no, I mean a couple of weeks, but a couple of weeks back when the uh, oh. it revealed who the uh, the enemy was, as it were. That was quite good. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to say too much about it. I don't know. Some people just like to wait to the end and binge watch a lot, don't they? Which is good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was a nice surprise. Yeah. And today's one had quite a nice surprise in it as well. Okay. What sort of surprise did it have? <laughs> I'm not going to say, am I? I suppose. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, don't do that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Benjamin okay. Sisko comes back. Oh, that'd be interesting. <laughs> I was half expecting Odo to come back. Oh, but that's a bit difficult since he's dead now. Oh, the actor, you mean? Yeah. Ah, right. Uh, was he dead? Ah. Yeah, but he can come back looking like anything he wants, can't he? He's a changeling. <laughs> Such a fortune on A-list celebrities. Don't you just get some minor actor to do it? It'd be really cheap. Nice. Plus, he had enough makeup on him, didn't he? That he definitely <laughs> anyone could look yeah. like him. <coughs> that would be interesting. Kazon. Is, is there any other games you guys are looking forward to? The Kazon? Wow. Kazon. Bad hair styles. Yeah, there's more like clay hair, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. <sighs> quark. I like to see quark in it. What? Nice Ferengi presence, that'd be good. What, what did you just say, Captain? Sorry? I was just saying, is there any other games that you guys are looking forward to? Anything you got your eyes on? Well, there's, there's obviously uh, Jedi uh, Survivor, uh, Jedi, Jedi Knight next sequel in the the, Je the, Je the Rogue Jedi one that comes out on the uh, is it the 28th of April? Okay. Uh, mm. The new Jedi, the new Star Wars game. Yeah. That, that looks absolutely awesome to be honest with you. More fighting, more uh, is it, more enemies, but unfortunately single player. Uh, why, why can't they bring out a good multiplayer uh, Star Wars game? When, when is this open-ended Star Wars game coming out? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 that's UBI soft, isn't it? Yeah. Now UBI soft. Uh, I've taken ages with some of the games that I've been looking forward to, like you know, Beyond Good and Evil 2. That, that's taken freaking ages. So, I, I don't know, mate. I don't know whether we're going to see that uh, ever. <laughs> I hope we. See, I hope uh, Star. I hope uh, Space Engineer lives up to expectations. Uh, I know it's a bit of a competitor, yeah, but I'm looking forward to that one. So. Oh, this this Starfield one. No, Star Starfield, no Space Engineer. Space Engineer. Yeah, yeah, the one where you build massive spacecrafts, massive bases, oh, explore yes. the universes. Yeah, I, I've hmm. seen I've seen other people like playing that, and it looks a little bit wobbly, a bit janky at the moment. Yeah. Mm. Trying to get my super chats to work down at the bottom there not working I've put a scroller in but that's not working I've given up now but yeah I've been slightly sidetracked looking at trying to get that to work fun times it keeps breaking that element I might have to put something else in but there we are Bobby I asked for everything and I get nothing <laughs> yeah well you know I suppose Hello Games they say they're always listening to the community and there's all sorts over on Reddit that I've seen that people would like added into game Chip customization seems to be something that is is popping up more and more more often, and people with ideas on how that could be done without it breaking current ship hunting. I think there's multiple ways they could do that. So hopefully, hopefully it might be on the cards. I think they, like us, they've probably all seen the freaking Starfield trailers and saw that that's one of the biggest appeals. I mean, I've had people saying they would spend hours just customizing their ship. Um, mm. I have to agree. Oh yeah, I mean Elite Dangerous has spent lots of time buggering about my ship and changing this and changing that and uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot you can do, you know. 
Yeah. Even if, if it's not obvious from the outside, there's a lot of internal work you can do on your ship, even though it's not, you know, visually represented in the game. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot you can do without even changing the appearance of your ship. Yeah, that's true. Rice well, is just joined chat, sorry. I just oh, cool. Oh, yeah, hello, the Rice of Starship and Poor M. So they are on Fridays, Ricey and Crew and Zoo. They usually do a community night. Hopefully they're going to be doing it this week. I like watching it because on PC they can push the boundaries out a little bit further and you can see if there's any squiffiness that might have been corrected or fixed. Has been an update gone out to Experimental, hasn't there? On the old PC on Steam. It's internal Experimental has been updated, just not public yet. Okay. Yeah. And I, th yeah. I think that just contains one fix and I think it's for the PlayStation 5 pad on PC. Oh my god, there it is. Oh, we're up there, he just took off. Yeah, yeah he's just taking that. off, he's floating above us. <laughs> oh, the actual fudge. <laughs> Hello. It's, oh, it's oh, an ejector oh, seat. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> catapulted out. Yeah. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> Hang on, I wonder if I can... It's a, it's a curiosity, I wonder if I can do a gesture oh, whilst... Oh, can I do a gesture, gesture while sitting down? You should be able to, yeah. Um, let's... Ooh, okay. Oh, no, he does. Uh, oh. okay. We had some fun, right? Okay. I'll Woo. do mind blowing emoji. Now. Boom. Yeah. Oh, so like one of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, there oh, we go. Nice. Ah. <laughs> I've only got a choice of four, but that Ooh. might. I don't know if that's because yeah. of. Um, this is my old PS4 save. Oh my days! This is weird, isn't it? Just randomly knock out a load of. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't like arms like... everywhere. Hey. Well, there's Hindu gods or something, isn't it? That's oh. pretty cool. Yeah. We've been entered by oh, Miyogi. Are... <laughs> oh, I felt the pain, I felt the pain. <laughs> you know, like there's those, those dancers that all stand in a row and then they do it with their hands. It's really trippy. It's kind of like yeah. that, but shitter, isn't it? <laughs> Very cool. Nice. Oh, I stood up. I went and pressed on oh. the wrong stick. Oh, I just flew up in the air, landed on the table. Look at that. Lap dancers. Yeah, it happens. Boom. Am I going to... Oh, no, it's sat completely in the wrong place. Yeah, that, I missed <laughs> totally there. Oh, think about the back then. What was that? Dun, dun, dun. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, I'm back on. Ah, lovely. Snug as a bug and a rug. Do you know what? I saw a flash cape then. Did you? Yeah. I'm not wearing a cape. My, mine's um, a back. No, I just saw a flash of a cape coming out the back. It might have been your own. I don't think I'm not sure. No, I don't think I'm wearing a cape. Oh, okay. How weird's okay. that? Then? Very odd. Go. Cool. Oh. Yeah, capes. So like capes appear would be nice, wouldn't it? Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's the simple things that we want fixing as a sorting out. It's very simple things. Well, Nothing mm. complicated, so. Rice just said he'd be going late, live later, so that's all cool. Yeah, anyway, I think, I think we've kind of just... I think we've hit a wall of silence now. Shall we um, disconnect from this? Or are we all good to just enjoy our weekends and go yeah, of course do that stuff? Then. I might have a John Smith, actually. Fancy a John Smith and then watch mm. Mandalorian and uh, Star Trek. Well, yeah, be good. I think that's yeah, what I'll be doing. Enjoy it, yeah. All right, people. I'm going to say cheery bye. Thank you for watching, everybody, in the view of us, and um, have a very nice oh. weekend, everyone. Oh my days, kettle's just now been I'm... launched. Yeah, now oh, I'm up here. Yeah, there he is. Oh. Well, we will all get launched. Oh. Oh, let's see if I can get myself launched as well. <laughs> Boom! Yes, I'm launched. It. We're all. Oh, you're the top. Pop up pirate. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Very awesome. Yeah. Cool. All right, people. I'm going to end off. Yeah. Thanks. Have a very good weekend. And thank you, chaps, for joining us this week. It's been great. Thank you, Miyogi, for stepping in at the yeah. last minute. Nice one. No problem. Thank you. See yeah. you later, all. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend, Bye. everyone. Bye. Yeah, Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.